Hi, this is Aaron at thinkaboutlabs.com and welcome back. Well, I just finished uh, doing my upgrade to Unity 5.503. Uh, um, upgrade went pretty smooth. Um, didn't have any issues on any of the code that we've written for our project. Uh, Launcher has a new in the cloud option, so if you're doing any collaboration, um, it says that your projects will be shown here. I haven't done anything um, with the collaboration yet, but I'm sure that I will play with it eventually. So on the disk right now, I'm going to open up our sci-fi robot. Get this guy going. Alright, so I poked around the editor. Not a whole lot has changed in the editor layout per se. Um, there are a few more options. Um, if you read through the release notes, uh, some of the improvements that they have done. One thing that I wanted to check out was the uh, the splash image options that they give us now. File, build settings, and then player settings. You can see that under your icon you have a splash image. It used to be just turn it on and off. Um, you had a, just a few options. Now we have the application config dialog banner. I've grabbed a couple of images from my my library, just a background image and a logo. So if we go back to the player settings, we now have the option for the virtual reality splash image. Um, that's pretty cool. Have the option to um, to show or not show the splash screen uh, image. We've had that option before, but right below it we have a preview option. A couple of different animations to choose from. Um, static that means it doesn't do anything, it's just poses. We have the dolly. And then we have a custom. So we can change the zoom on the logo and the background. So played around with it. I like the dolly. I'm going to stick, stick with it. I'm going to change the duration of the logo. So if we up it to 10 and preview it, it's going to sit there for 10 seconds. It's a little a little much, so crank it down two and a half. It's pretty good. Change the opacity on the background overlay as well as giving it a background image. Um, also have the option for the alternate portrait image. The alternate portrait image this is going to be something that you'll be shown if the uh, canvas is uh, rotated for mobile displays or if you have a monitor or another tablet that has been rotated. So, pretty good so far. I'm going to keep on um, digging through all the updates, uh, see what else is going on. Um, but like I said, I didn't have any issues updating um, this one project that we've been working on, the Sci-Fi Platformer. So, uh, we'll see you in the next video, and good luck, and see you then. Bye.